Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and kind of talk to you guys about the Pantheon system. So for all of you guys know, um, the Pantheon kind of came out in 3.0 with the most recent expansion, the Fall of Oriath. And uh, it doesn't really add too much benefits to most builds. But I kind of wanted to talk about like more of like the late game of the Pantheon, if that even makes sense. Basically when you actually start working towards getting your buffs. So to get your buffs, the first step is to use a Divine Vessel on the actual map that you want. So for example, if you were to look at Soul of Arakali, to capture the Herald of Thunder, or to capture anything, you would basically look on your Atlas and you would look for the map for Herald of Thunder. So those maps are typically identified with a little symbol here. And if you hover over the map, it'll tell you what boss is inside there. So, for example, for Arcade, unfortunately Arcade doesn't have this for some reason. Um, you would basically put inside your Divine Vessel. Oops. You would put in your Divine Vessel with your map, and then you would go kill the boss. And when you kill the boss, you know, it would put the item on your Atlas, and it would also go ahead and give you the captured Divine Vessel, which you then take to Sin, and then you acquire your next piece. Now, the interesting thing about uh, the Pantheon system is once you get to red tier maps, like for example, Shock and Horror would be a Torture Chamber, and Capture Shadow of the Vol would be a Maze map, so I believe that's tier 12 and tier 14. Uh, I don't remember the exact tier of Torture Chamber. It becomes very expensive to remove an, a, a map off your Atlas, because to remove something off of your Atlas, it requires three sextants and an Orb of Scouring. So, for example, in the Hardcore Harbinger League right now, red sextants are about 10 chaos each. So you're paying for the map, plus you're paying for the sextants, which is about 30 chaos. The scour is whatever, right? Divine Vessel is like 2 or 3 chaos. But the interesting thing is we have the ability to shape our atlas. So for people who don't know how to shape their atlas, I'd recommend checking out my atlas shaping series. But atlas shaping basically allows you to kind of manipulate the atlas and kind of force yourself into getting a certain kind of map. So for example, my atlas is shaped towards Racecourse um, and a couple other maps, and you can see in my tab, I've got a bunch of shaped Racecourses. The problem with this is that the Pantheon system as it is right now directly conflicts with that atlas shaping method. Not mine specifically, but pretty much any person that shapes their atlases and does not want Torture Chamber. Now, I don't know if that's intended or not, uh, I'm not really too sure. If it is, that's totally cool. I just wanted people to be aware of this because, for example, for me to unlock my Shock and Horror and my Shadow of the Veil, uh, it would cost me like 75 Chaos to unlock them and then remove it. And I feel like that's kind of odd to pay so much for a buff that's gonna, like, if I die on this character, I'm gonna have to redo and get it all over again. Whereas the Atlas itself is permanent between all my characters. So if I were to make another character and I decided to shape my Atlas, uh, I'm going to have to pay the exact same thing, but just on different maps. So I just wanted to know your guys' thoughts, kind of what you guys think about that, because I thought it was a bit silly. Um, of course, GDG did say they wanted to move players away from running one specific map. I don't know if this is their goal in doing that. It just seems kind of like a useless currency sink for me, because um, the interesting thing about this is I tried another method, and I want to show you guys this method that we tried out. So... Instead of going on and buying the map itself and putting the map on my atlas and running it myself, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cheaper realistically if I paid someone to do it for me, right? So instead, I bought the torture chamber map, I put it inside my uh, hideout, which you can see in this clip right here, and uh, I decided to pay someone else to do it instead. So here's the divine vessel with the torture chamber uh, map, and I gave somebody six chaos to go run it. Because in my eyes, that's a win-win, right? The guy makes a ton of current, well, a simple amount of currency for doing something really easy, uh, and I don't have to put the map on my atlas, so I don't have to spend 30 chaos to remove it. Well, the problem that persists is, if you're not there for the actual map boss kill, you don't actually get the completion for it. Like, it actually, like, not the completion, but you actually do not even get the Divine Vessel. Um, so here you guys are about to see here in a second that in this clip, you literally cannot even get it. So let me see, 227. As you can see from right here, let me just go back a little bit. Opening up the same exact map device that I put the Divine Vessel in, it consumed the Divine Vessel. It didn't give it to him. It didn't give it to me. It just deleted it. And I totally like M M4 this, like don't get me wrong, I don't think like players should be able to get carried through a lot of stuff like this, but it kind of forces you to then pay a shit ton of currency to get it off of your atlas, like there's not even a way to go around this. 
And at first I thought to myself, oh, well, this would be pretty interesting because if you could sell, um, if you could basically sell like divine vessel carries, that would be a great incentive to not shape your atlas because people are constantly dying in hardcore. People constantly need their atlas, uh, not their atlas, their pantheon refreshed. So I thought maybe this would be an interesting thing for the economy, but it turns out you can't even do that. So anyway, I was just curious on what you guys thought. So let me know in the comments below. Um, I don't know what the fuck this is. All right, you're banned. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you guys liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.